Welcome to the triangle pattern tutorials. What we would say is there is a lot of examples you're going to see of different variants of the triangle pattern. So it may be an idea if you get a pen and paper before you watch this tutorial just to sketch them down and make some notes. There's two types of triangular patterns. There's the triangles and there's the wedges. In general, they are all continuation patterns. However, there is a few exemptions and we will show you those. In our ebooks for this section, there is ways of identifying from a triangle pattern how high or how low it will send the share price, and we will teach you that technique in ebook number one. In ebook number two, where there's lots of different charts and you need to spot reversal patterns and continuation patterns, we've thrown in quite a few triangles because sometimes they're a little bit tricky to spot. And we want you to practice on them charts to be able to identify triangular patterns so that when you're trading your own charts, you can spot them and use them. Let's show you a few examples of triangle patterns. Collectively, there is three types of triangle that we're going to show you, type 1, type 2, and type 3. In type 1, this is a bullish continuation pattern. The price swings become less volatile as the pattern is formed and it continues on the upside. The thing that distinguishes this pattern is the flat resistance area and also it has an ascending buy line. What this shows us is that the buyers are more aggressive and the lows are getting higher which is a sign that the market is strengthening on the buy side. Triangle 2 is found in downtrends and continues the price lower what you'll find with this pattern is the highs do get lower as the pattern continues to form and you will get a horizontal buy line as the support of this pattern. The sell line is descending and what you would expect is a break on the downside. Pattern number three is slightly different because it's shaped pretty much like an ice cream or a traffic cone. You get these in uptrends and downtrends. There is no flat line. In this one you have a flat sell line, in number two you have a flat buy line. There is no flat lines, they are both converging to a centre point. Some traders like to call this the coiled spring and more often than not what will happen is when you spring out of the pattern it will continue on the original trend before the pattern started forming. So let's take some time to visit the wedge formations. How these usually differ from triangles is that they usually have a slight slant to them. That often will be against the trend. So in an up market you will find a wedge pointing downwards which will be a bullish continuation. So the price will break out on the upside. However, what they don't really teach you is when you get a rising wedge in an up market, so again, the price will be going upwards and instead of a wedge pointing downwards, you'll have a wedge pointing upwards. Now, what does that mean? You are about to find out. So first, we should look at two conventional ways you'll see wedges. In an up market, you see how this is pretty much slanted and it is certainly pointing down. You would expect that to break out on the upside. One advanced feature to this is be careful that you're not drawing a wedge like this when actually there's a head and shoulders formation inside the wedge. Here in a down market you would get a rising wedge which almost certainly will break on the downside. You see how these wedges have no flat lines like the triangles that we've already shown you. They are slanted, it's a little bit like they're converging but they're certainly pointing away from the trend on this example. And now what they don't tend to teach you is what happens when you get a wedge that's pointing in the same direction as the trend preceding it. Often these little patterns will prove to be reversal patterns. So that if you get a wedge that's pointing down in a downtrend, look for upside breaking, and a wedge that's pointing up in an up market will often break on the downside. We've put on some charts in our ebook number two that does feature some of these wedges because you need to practice identifying the wedges and also working out if they're reversals or continuations. There's also more work on this on our eDVD, but right now you need to divert your attention to our diamond formation tutorial.